Dear Lord, I was hardly the perfect candidate, but you demanded greatness and caused a picture to animate. Creation at the tip of your thumb, when my whole soul was dirty and sticking to gum. And what is life but the vapor the clip of a gun? Just point me in the right direction to witness a resurrection. The No More Sleep executive pick list are focused on players that are going within the first five rounds of fantasy drafts. The goal is to give you information so that you can make informed decisions. Because in fantasy, every pick is a guess. But the people who win or lead are those who make the most educated guesses. And today we're going to help you make an educated guess on wide receiver Mike Evans out of Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mike Evans had a career high season last year in several categories. And what we're going to focus on in this video is reasons why. And then this will help you determine whether or not those reasons will make a significant change this year. We also tend to focus on Dynasty Fantasy Football Leagues to have the keeper setting. So we're not necessarily covering players that we don't think will have some relevancy next year, uh, which is why some people have asked us why we're not covering certain players. We're not going to cover players that uh, we can't project next year or will likely be retiring, you know, next year. So Mike Evans is not one of those guys. He will be on the field and we do expect him to be an elite receiver this year and next year. However, there's some information you need to have on him before you make the pick. But if you like him, grab him. If you don't, then stay away from him. We don't advise you to draft anyone that you don't like because you won't start them when you need to. You get too emotional. So last year, Mike Evans finished a career high in yards, 1,524 yards. He finished second career high in receptions. He finished with 86. Uh, his highest previous high was 96. Finished career high in receiving average with 17.7 versus previous years. I think his highest was 15. And then he can finish. He finished career high in 20 plus and catches 40 plus. Um, what changed? How did he have this this huge season? How did he he get all these career highs? Well, there are essentially five things um, that allowed him to be a better receiver last year than he was previous years. The first was Dirk Cutter. Now, Dirk Cutter is not an effective head coach, but every his his you know every team he's been on has had high-ranking um, passing offenses and we're talking all the way from the beginning okay every team he's always had high uh, passing offenses now I believe Dirk Cutter became head coach in 2016 um, you can check that but in 2016 the Buccaneers had a passing offense ranked of uh, 16 so there's ranked 16 and attempts and yards which is admirable it's pretty good but in 2017, Dirk Cutter took that team um, to rank number three in attempts, passing attempts, and then number four in passing yards. And then last year, 2018, Dirk Cutter had the passing attempts ranked four and yards ranked number one. And that's surprising to some people, but the Buccaneers had the most passing yards last year. So Dirk Cutter not being in Tampa Bay anymore. Um, is a little bit concerning uh, for Mike Evans because of the next things we're going to talk about. There are certain things about the offensive scheme that allow Mike Evans to have these career highs. Bruce Arians is going to be more adamant about helping Jameis Winston make less mistakes and focusing on more mechanics, which means he's probably not going to take as many deep um, passes as he would have in the past. Okay, um, so... Keep that in mind. Now, Bruce Arians is also not some chump when it comes to passing offenses. Yes, last year that offense was ranked horrifically, but Bruce Arians has proven to help quarterbacks improve, and uh, his quarterbacks tend to have better uh, QB passing ratings, and he normally don't limit their their um, their talent. So if they're a talented runner, he'll allow them to do that, and if they can throw the ball downfield, he's going to help them do it more accurately. He did that with Carson Palmer. Um However, he's not Dirk Cutter. Okay, Dirk Cutter will, doesn't even care. He just get the ball down the field and um, try to win those 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 catches. So the second thing that was different year over year, or drastically different, was air yards. And this is no surprise. Mike Evans ranked number one in air yards. Um, Eighty-two percent of his all-purpose receiving yards were considered air yards, which means that. From the time that the quarterback threw the ball to the time that Mike Evans caught the ball, um, he had the most amount of yards in that category. Why? When you're throwing the ball deep, you need to throw it with an arch, right? That's going to help you get the ball down the field. And when the ball is arched, that's it's going to it's going to travel more yards in the air, 
than it would be if you're throwing a, a short or intermediate pass bullet pass. So Mike Evans benefited quite well from that last year from both quarterbacks, uh, Fitzpatrick and Jameis Winston. And uh, it proved because he was number one in air yards, and that's why it helped him have the high, the career high in receptions of 20 plus and 40 plus yards. So basically, what this tells us is that Mike Evans last year ran more deep routes than he he are used to running, um, and, and then he previously did um, in in his time with Tampa Bay. So, do you expect him to have the same amount of deep routes? That's some, that's the other question. Yards after catch was the third thing that improved. Um, so he went from 0.7 yards after catch to 1.9 yards after catch per target. Now, that's something that is 100% the individual. It has nothing to do with the quarterback. Mike Evans uh, may be doing more in the weight room and working on ways to not get you know tackled as quick. Um, it also can be that he's separating um, from defenders in those long pass um in those long deep routes and that might be the reason why he's able to gain just a little bit more on the yards after catch either way um this is a good category to see improvement on especially from a veteran so should feel pretty good about that the question now is though will he continue to run those deep routes and keep that target se separation uh number four thing that that was different was contested catches again this is uh, dependent upon the receiver itself he saw an improvement of 13% year over year, uh, which is very good for a veteran, and especially his size. You expect him to have contested catch wins, and he did. He had more contested catches this year than he did in the previous year. Nothing to do with coaching or quarterback staff, so that's a good thing. So um, feel good about that. And then yards per run route. Yards per run route is important, but not all the time. It depends on the offense. Uh, when a quarterback is relying on you to break um, and and to run clean routes, then it matters. And Jameis Winston and Ryan Fitzpatrick in that offense, they wasn't necessarily looking for the best routes, but what they were looking for um, was if we throw the ball, they expect you to be there um, because their accuracy isn't the, the greatest. So Mike Evans saw a 50% improvement year over year, which means he's feeling more confident about when to break in his routes. That's an indication that, you know, he's not necessarily, if I need to run a hitch, I'm not going to count seven steps before I break, right? Um, I'm actually going, it's muscle memory, okay? So Mike Evans, he's running the routes um, consistently through muscle memory. Again, you got to think about this. Bruce Arians is coming in. Will he be running different routes? It'll probably be the same route tree, but could he see regression because of a new playbook? So these are the things that allow for Mike Evans to have a career high season, uh, coaching, air yards, Yards after catch, contested catches, and yards per run route. Do we expect to see regression? We do. Will that regression put him outside of the numbers that he had last year? It won't be a drastic difference. So, again, if you like him, he's still going to be an elite receiver. But there's the information. Do as you will. Make the executive decision. The No More Sleep executive pick list. Get it, I got it. Get it, go, get it, I got it. Get it, go, get it, I got it.